Hi, I'm Kellen Bryant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your assets against the Medicaid look back period. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to teach you first, um, we're going to talk about how the look back period actually works. Second, we're going to talk about the, uh, the, da the considerations um, to make when you are trying to protect yourself. And three, um, I'm going to talk about the what I feel is probably the best option given the, the um, considerations in number two that I talk about. So let's first cover the look back period and specifically when I'm talking in this video, the look back period and, and the information is Florida law based. Okay, so look back period is a currently as of making this video in 2014 is generally five years it's five years of look back period and 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 so it's looking back so when does the look back period apply it's looking back the date you apply for medicaid the state has the ability to look back to all your financial records the public records five years to see if you've made a transaction to give money away in a gift and what and a gift can mean in a, into a trust to another person, um, and so forth. So looking back five years, and if there's a gift, um, the state essentially says you're gonna have to pay that amount of the gift to the nursing home to cover until we start covering the bill. So it puts people in a very sticky, horrible position. So um, if you're watching this video and you're healthy now, um, you know, you can, it's, it's time where you maybe can beat, beat the look back period, essentially, if you're on the nursing home um, steps in looking for ways to protect your assets, then this this uh, video might not be directly applicable, but there is some advice for you as well. Okay, so next is under, understanding the ramifications of any kind of transactions that you might think of to beat the look back period. So a lot of people say they want somebody to hold their money, um, and that's essentially just giving somebody a gift. Um, and that's that's one of the main considerations you got to think of if you're giving your money to somebody um, first is, as a gift they can do whatever they want with it including not give it back to you or spend it on you um, so that's that's kind of like an unsettling thing to totally give up control of your money to somebody else I mean that's your life savings so the other the other issue with it is there could be some tax issues so if I if I um, if I have a house that I bought 10 years ago and it's greatly gone up in value, and I give it give it to my brother, or if I have stock that's greatly gone up in value, very common, give it to my brother, that's, I'm creating a big tax problem um, when it comes time to liquidate and sell those assets. Um, where, whereas I, I wouldn't have that problem if I didn't give him the assets. So, so gotta be careful with the tax ramifications of any kind of transfer or gift of assets. So the third, Third is the um, and is the solution here. Um, so you have either the choice to gift, considering the ramifications that I mentioned earlier, or you can create a Medicaid asset protection trust or irrevocable income only trust. There's a couple names for it. Just and there's been a couple and there's a couple companies out there that you know assist attorneys using uh, these documents and and uh, the advice and and tools to help protect assets from the look back period. Um, so. The, the trust allows, to, allows you, the one who wants to protect it, a, a high degree of control over the assets um, versus a gift. And so, um, so the trust will have rules set up um, about, about um, how the, your money is going to be managed. You will have the ability, you can have the ability to, to fire the trustee if it's not you. And depending on what state you are, are in, what attorney you're speaking to, um, is, is a good, very good question to talk about whether or not, or you, sh you can or should be the trustee of this trust. Um, so, if you, and then the, the trust also protects against the, uh, the, the the tax issue. And so, if for somebody who is not on nursing homes door, um, maybe can't afford long term care insurance or want to pay for long term care insurance, then looking at an irrevocable income only trust is a good way to protect assets. Mm -hmm.